hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are building the city of Verde Beach, and we've got an exciting one today. We are going to be finishing off this lovely island for our World's Fair. Or not island, but uh, peninsula, pier, whatever you want to call it. So we are going to get to this. We're going to do a lot of things here. We're going to build a bit of parking. We're going to reorient these buildings so that they're all facing the city. We're going to build a lovely park in the front and do a bit of detailing. We're also going to add another entryway into the Hamilton experience, and we're gonna bring in cruise ships and ferries. But before we can get to any of that, we have to solve the death wave. If you saw the comment on my previous video, I, I said that you shouldn't look at the population. The reason is we lost approximately, I think it was like maybe 15,000 in population over the course of the episode, I didn't notice. Really reminds me of the experience I had in 5B1C Season 2, Episode 19, where I built bike lanes joyfully while the city burned. <laughs> so we are going to not have that happen. I've spent a bit of time diagnosing this, and we'll come to the three-pronged solution to making the death wave stop. And if we don't, I've let this run and in the, just to see what happens, the city will die like everyone in the city will die. So we've, we've got to solve this now. I also want to point out the unified UI down here. This is not because I've added in node control or anything fun like that. It's because I've added the new Acme camera, a camera mod. It is wonderful. The things that it does for me, basically now when I use this camera mod, I'm able to, to really control quite a few things. So I can come in here, you can toggle building, prop tree, network collision. So that's neat. The other mods did that, they didn't do it as well. The big thing though is when I click into my different cameras, so I go into my cinematic camera, and or my, my, my free viewing camera, and it doesn't jump back and forth. That was a huge problem. A number of videos where you'll see that I just went like this, that was because of my old camera mods. The other thing that this does is it means that when I go into cinematic camera extended to make all of my really neat videos, uh, at the, the city tours and the and, and the pull out at the end of the video, now it holds its position better, so it doesn't it doesn't move. Normally, it'll pull up, and that makes it difficult for me to, to do a few things. So, if you haven't checked out this mod and you're on a PC, I highly recommend it. It's a great mod. So, the problems with the city right now. First of all, it's not this. <laughs> so there are a few things I didn't fix when I went through the city and uh, thought that I repaired everything. So there are a couple of areas that are still destroyed and you can see them right here. So of these things, it's not just a dog park. <laughs> There's things like metro stations, a high school, a uh, firehouse, but the most pressing of all of them is right over here, I believe, somewhere in this area, right here. We've got crematoriums, multiple crematoriums that did not get repaired. There's two right there. And that's a problem. What that means is that we are uh, ultimately not picking up all the dead bodies. <laughs> so we've got to do that. So I'm just going to go and, and, and quickly look through and see if there are any other buildings that I missed. Okay, so we're all fixed up on the building front. Now the next problem is our death care situation generally. So there are a couple of things, like there's a cemetery somewhere over here that is disabled. I think it's this one. Yes, it is. it was emptying, it is now still emptying. We're not doing anything with it. So we're gonna re-enable that and get that thing going again. So that's only one of our problems. We have others. So if we pop into our death care, we're gonna see that I have neglected death care in some of our new neighborhoods. So Myrtle Hills, Myrtle Gardens, Covenant Hills, Myr uh, Mill Hill, I wanna focus on those because in this area, we've built a total of three crematoriums and nothing else. So the consequence of that is that these this area is being served by crematoriums all across the city. Another area where we didn't build anything, right over here on Intestine Way. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna start here. We're just gonna use a bit of eminent domain, take over some of these spots where we could have a nice crematorium one at the top one at the bottom so i believe that this area needs to because this road is so long so you have to wind up and down even with two even with one on each end we still don't have coverage on intestine way not 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 good coverage anyway 
And what we're gonna see, my guess, is when we pop through here, we take a look at our routes. Yeah, they're really meandering all over the place. It's, it's hard to see. I can't tell exactly this particular building. But for city services, uh, you can assume it's that. So it's it's got a long way to go. So lots lots of need there. So let's also add a few more over here. And I wanna try to, to place these in places that are reasonable and don't require eminent domain, if at all possible. So right across the street here, we are gonna finish developing this area at some point. So we'll sneak this in here. Rather than put it here, which is the main street in this area, we're gonna put it off the side. Maybe not the most exciting thing to see on game day, but you know, it's something that you need. And then over here, I also wanna get another one on this side of Myrtle Gardens. We have one downtown here, but I really think we need another one over here. So I really don't like the idea of putting this right on, I believe this is, uh, well, this is basically, it's our main, it was Kent Street, I can't think of the name right now, uh, but it was, it, it is our main drag. If we put this here, there's gonna be a lot of looping. They won't be able to cross the road. So what I'm gonna do is just put it off to the side here again. Lovely to see this on game day. <laughs> but from a service standpoint, it makes a ton of sense. Uh, and then the other place I wanna get one is over in Sterling Heights Office Park. The problem is it's not great to use eminent domain in any of these areas. You're not gonna take down a skyscraper to put in a one story crematorium so what i think we're gonna do is pop over here to our single family homes we'll put one off to the side as close as we can get it over here we can say that's an adaptive reuse and that's totally acceptable still doesn't maybe provide the coverage that i'd love to see we've got some more problems over here i might add one more and i hate that we have to overbuild this like this um but if we don't overbuild we have a death wave and you can see we had 650 deaths before we're now down 100 and there's a little bit more that we can do to fix this so prong two is this right here so what i think is happening right now is we have a whole bunch of people coming in from the space elevator they are moving into their homes and they're moving in next to dead people the dead people are causing problems obviously you don't want to live next to a dead person uh, that's a health issue and it causes them to die as well and then as the population dips and there's available housing more people move in it's just it's just a, a vicious cycle so we're going to turn this off until the end of the episode i think our population will start rebounding now that we are taking some of these bodies and removing them from the city we've got one final prong of this problem though and that is our garbage collection so you can see that we are teetering on the edge our landfills are pretty full our landfills being our waste transfer facilities and I just want to pan around a little bit you see that we've got a significant problem here for a couple buildings a couple problems here again a few problems there I'm guessing it's pretty bad over here it should be anyway although we do have do we have garbage over here I don't believe that we do we should so I'm gonna add a waste transfer facility up here and I knew that the terrain wasn't suitable we're gonna have to make our terrain suitable. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. The terrain is gonna respect us today in this particular instance. We're gonna have to do that in a couple of different spaces. That's good enough. I think that that's fine. Uh, so we'll have our garbage waste transfer facility up here and that will help us take care of some of this trash collection up here. Over here, we've got the same problem so they'll use this highway to take care of it. I believe we upgraded that. Yeah, that's a highway. So at least it'll be a quick trip, even if it's a long one. <laughs> so that's, that's a thing. And then on the other side of town, this is really where we're seeing our problems. Downtown is a trash nightmare. And there's not a lot of places to retrofit this in. So what this means to me is we need to add additional processing and additional waste transfer facilities. So I know that the airport is a real struggle we've got one facility over here right here we zoom in we've got this recycling center this is handling 100 percent of the trash collection for the airport really so that's a problem we're going to add one more and the waste transfer facility can really it has a higher capacity than our recycling center granted our recycling center is ending here but it's not 
the capacity is pretty low. So what I am thinking, well, I was thinking something that wasn't going to work. <laughs> so that's a problem. We might have to experiment with the height of real reality and the realism. And I wonder if I could just pull this over here, get rid of that. Yeah, that, that's going to be our solution. So that is not super realistic <laughs> to just relocate your recycling center, but it's going to do the trick for us. It's a weird gap here. I don't, I don't know why I didn't do something with that. That's something. I mean, no one's going to use this, <laughs> but, but it looks like it's a back entryway in or something. Uh, cause I don't think we can fit a road there. One tile. Yeah. That's not going to be wide enough for a road. looks like an alleyway. Makes sense to me. So now we have this, this transfer facility over here. We have a processor over in this area right here. Huge waste processing complex. It is completely full basically for the most part. Uh, so that's not good. The processing rate is what it is. We need something else that can process trash. So, you know, you look at a place like this and you wonder, where do we really have the ability to add this? And the answer is nowhere. <laughs> so I think right here, we, you know, there'd probably be a city meeting, a brainstorming session where everyone tries to put their heads together and come up with a solution. And really that solution is probably to try to reclaim this land for some sort of waste processing. The reason for that is it's not a super desirable area for any other uses. And it is centrally located to some of the things that we need to take care of. So I would really love to, to add something back here. Let's look at our terrain and see how possible it is. It stinks. <laughs> but we're going we're gonna to shoehorn it in here anyway. So we're just going to accept our grading challenges. Take our lumps and add something in. So I'm going to add in two facilities. So we'll loop back around this, which I'm sure that... All of the, the helicopter operators will just love that we've, we've added this waste facility back here. And I know that this waste disposal unit isn't the greatest. It actually has the same capacity as two recycling centers, but I like the footprint and we haven't used it. And I, I rewatched the very first Verde Beach to recenter myself a bit and to think a little bit about what the goals for the series were and if I was meeting those goals. and. It made me recall that I promised I would use every single asset in the game in this series. And I am nowhere near that. So we're going to have to do some things. So this is what we're going to do. We'll add this in here. And we actually have room for a couple of recycling centers back here. So I might do that. So we have a bit of processing availability back here. Let's go ahead. We'll add a couple of recycling centers as well. And it's funny, these little incineration plants had the same capacity as that monster plant back there. <laughs> just, just for context. So basically I've added the equivalent right here of two of those incinerators. So not great, not great. And we've created this really nasty situation here. So there is an elegant solution, but it's not the focus of today. So rather than looking at the perfect solution, you're going to come up with something that's going to work for us for now. And in the future, we're going to do something better. And this is too close to really be able to slope it in any meaningful way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the trees here. And then we're going to use one of our favorite assets. And I think you know what it is. If you've watched this series in any significant way, you know which asset I love to use to cover up these cliff faces which just don't do it for me. They just, they don't do it. I wish they did. I should get over my problems. <laughs> okay. So we'll get water pipes back here. And then we've got one more thing that we need to think about in this area. So we've got a one-way road here. We've had this forever. So we're going to simulate something that happens. The loss of institutional knowledge. I cannot recall why this is a one-way. I've got a couple of guesses, uh, but I, I don't have definitive knowledge on why I did this. I could figure it out. I've documented everything. <laughs> so if I look back at the episode where this was created, I bet you I could figure it out. But here's the thing. This happens. People look back and they go, well, why did it X, Y, and Z happen? No one knows. So you lose that institutional knowledge and then someone says, well, why not? So. I believe that this was being used as a cut through 
it almost functions as a collector because of how direct it is. There are very few direct connections between this collector and this one, at least in this area. I guess you could come down here, but that's a longer trip and it's not even direct. It kind of stops right here and you end up with this mess of stuff happening here. So, and this might be part of our problem too. Some of these things are gonna be traffic related issues and upgrading this into here could be a great benefit to us. And I see that there's a ton of cars that want to come here. So just a little bit of vanilla traffic fixing is probably in order in this location. And truthfully, this area right here in my mind is just screaming for a roundabout. You can see all of the traffic that wants to come through here that can't get in here all because of really we're creating a funnel. So it's, it's certainly problematic. There's not much we can do because of the train tracks. We're just gonna have to deal with a bit of backup here that hopefully will improve over time. Okay, so I do wanna take one last look at our death care issue. We're still creeping up there. That stinks, we've got a fire. So <laughs> that also stinks. And I see we have another pod of death problems. So while we're over here, I might just add one more crematorium. There we go. And I'm curious if our zoning has something to do with this issue over here. Shoot, it does. So we're going to look at this and, and do a bit of rezoning. So the homes wouldn't disappear right away, but I don't think there'd be a huge amount of demand to live in a place that's polluted. Office uses can deal with this a bit better in the game and in reality. So to me, it's not totally far-fetched to expect that this use would turn over. So I like that. It'll prevent people from being sick and hopefully people will stop dying. Don't move into an area with pollution. <laughs> so there we go. Much better. Hopefully that helps. And I think that's mostly the issue here. So there we go. Let's get on to the meat and potatoes of this episode, shall we? Okay, so the very first thing I wanna do over here is talk a little bit about what we're gonna do. And what I wanna start with is really transportation. So this area is already functioning and I really think that we need to get our transportation in order. The very first thing I wanna do is move this. This is in the way of what we're gonna be doing here, which is adding parking lots. So I'm gonna relocate this. Just gonna see if I can fit this in right here in our empty spot. It is perfect. Fits like a glove. So. Now we just need to get tracks going there. So in reality, I think they try to reuse as much of this existing track as possible. But in light of the fact that we are building for a world's fair, we are going to build a much better track than we would otherwise get. And I don't have a problem with that right now. I think that at this point in time, you might have the, the private sector even getting involved saying, listen, we'll do whatever it takes to make sure that everything is absolutely perfect for this event because they stand to lose so much if the city messes it up. So uh, in cases like that, you do get private investment. So we're gonna have that right now. This is a public-private partnership. They're helping fund some of this infrastructure improvement and the city is better for it. So this road right here, I do not want. This is gonna be in the middle of our parking field right here. It will be dramatically undersized. We will facilitate some parking. You have to have some. Imagine that there would be vendors coming with trucks. They need a place to unload. Uh, you'd want a drop off area for uh, you know, Ubers or taxis or whatever. And we're gonna want taxi facilities in this area too. That's something to think about. Lots of little things to think about. So let's build our parking facilities. So I'm gonna line these up. We'll get rid of this path here. Get this, we'll butt this right up close. I think we can do three across. Now you see there's a bend in the road. That's gonna, it's gonna be a problem for us as we build this. So I'm just going to eliminate this. We'll come through again with our lovely European two lane stone bridge, which gives us our lovely stone sidewalks here. And we'll get that placed. Now I'm gonna leave a gap here because I think I can get three more of these parking lot facilities in here if I leave that gap and I can't <laughs> so there we go we can so I really like that I think that that makes a ton of sense to have this here we are going to need to think about our connections that we're making here and add in some pedestrian facilities I'm going to turn all of this stuff off just do it by hand also get rid of this zoning we don't want a random 
office building to or a commercial building to come up. Now here we're gonna have a problem. If you recall from the last episode, I had that key wall. When I, when I clip to this, we don't connect to our key wall. So I'm going to make sure that we have a connection, but it doesn't touch. And now it'll make that connection and everything will be just fine. So there we go. Now along here, we've got all this sand and it really, really bugs me. I wish that there was a way in vanilla to get rid of the sand. There is not. So we're going to work around the sand. This is going to be our problem for most of the build today. That we have all this sand that we have to contend with. So what are we going to do? I think we need to make the best of it. We'll put in a bunch of landscaping. We'll try to make it look good. As good as we can anyway. Oh, and look at that. I was able to just cut that off right there, make it look real nice. Now, before I move on, I was thinking about something just now. This is a whole, this is a park, this whole area, and I don't want to put a park gate anywhere. So I'm gonna add it right here because I do want this to be a functional park. So we'll go in, we'll grab our small city park main gate, and I'll just add a park path here. And that'll be the spot that we have all of this. <laughs> so that is our entryway. And we could certainly charge to get in here. I don't think anyone's gonna pay. I, I certainly wouldn't. I guess I guess people will. <laughs> so never underestimate people's desire to pay to enter a park, I guess, in City Skylines. All right, so I could fix these fences to line up a little bit better with this. So I will. So now we've got all this, you know, there's not a lot that can really fit in here well except for palm trees. I think palm trees could grow on the sand and look fine. Uh, we could also throw in some of our new vines. I think those would look look okay down here as well. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna place some of our more lush looking palms. We'll wrap that right around here. And I like to do the edges first so I can figure out what the good center is. Probably should do that more often. I think you get a much more even distribution if you do it that way. And you can see that that looks very even, very good. Now, I wanna do a bit of decorating here. We did move our subway station over here. This will not be our only subway station. That's not gonna be adequate. So let's add in another one of these lovely, these are date palms. We'll add some coconut trees back here where people won't fall into them. And then I want to decorate a bit around here as well. Plus some of these little bushes. Really didn't like what it did with those vines. So I think we're gonna leave it, you know, uh, uh, along here. Uh, we're, 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 rather than doing those vines, I might have a few of these flowering bushes. They'll also look okay in the sand. Not ideal, but we're not gonna get ideal here, unfortunately. Okay, I'm not gonna get overly excited about parking, but I do think this looks pretty good. I do like it. I think it looks plausible and reasonable. So I'm gonna have a couple more of these date palms. They just are so, just beautiful. I just love them. And then to keep people out of the resort over here, we're gonna have a nice row of hedges. We're just kind of creating a bit more of an experience here. This is kind of a weird little back alley sort of thing. I, I would imagine it might be a little bit uncomfortable in that area. So now maybe it's a bit more comfortable. But you know an area that's really uncomfortable? Right here. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. We don't have the fronts of the buildings facing the city. So right here, the Expo Center. I believe that's what this is. Yeah, Expo Center. We've got this facing towards that, which is great. But that's not our focus right now. This building is facing towards the Museum of Modern Art. So the Theater of Wonders also facing in the wrong direction. So I'm going to get these facing towards Verde Beach, get the important view facing towards the important area, the important area with views. So let's go ahead. I'm going to turn on our grid. And this one's pretty easy. You can just add this street here. Now, I'm not saying these streets are going to be permanent, but for the time being, they'll exist here. And now here, I think I've got to line this up here as well. We'll take a look at where this falls. 
So what this does, yeah, we're, we're back a little ways. I don't love where that's lining up. So I'm gonna add this here. And really I do want this to be right here. So we'll turn it around. We got that to fit. And now I'll delete that. So I need a road here, but it doesn't necessarily need to be right in front of it. And I don't want these roads to really connect up this main collector here. The main reason is I don't want this to become a road that, that traffic favors. I want it to be a road that is really there for patrons of, of uh, patrons that are actually using this area. So, okay, I want to use road guidelines now, and I want this to line up well with this so that it's fairly even. So having just road guidelines on should help with that a little bit. It's not perfect, but it was never going to be. I wonder if we could do a little better. So I'm going to try one other thing. So we know that the front of the building, it's really right here. I'm going to extend just one notch past it. So I'll turn angle on. Road guidelines right there. There's about two tiles past. I'll turn that off now. And extend just a bit beyond. That wasn't enough. Wasn't quite enough. So we'll try one more time. There we go. And it will accept that, which is what I was hoping for. One other thing I'm noticing, this road could be a little bit further over. Now we have that guideline, so very easy to fix. It looks a little bit better. We don't have that weird gap. And I could scooch this over just a little bit. There we go, and that opens this area up a bit more. Really like what's happened here, and uh, it's gonna be really important when we are finishing off our plazas here, which is what we're gonna start now. So I want to end this road. This road is not helpful for us. What it's doing is creating uh, an area that is really beneficial to cars and really bad for people. And knowing that this is really gonna be a pedestrian oriented space, I wanna favor the pedestrians through here. So we're gonna do that right off the bat, design this entire area thinking of pedestrians first. So let's turn on the grid. I wanna find the center of this and just run a pedestrian path through here. Now, I really wanted to use these paths and that's one of the reasons I put the gate over here. And you'll see the method to my madness in a little while and you'll either think it's great or you'll think I'm terrible. <laughs> well, I wanna know in the comments <laughs> which it is. <laughs> cause I, I am curious. Uh, cause I'm gonna do some things that are potentially unconventional in this, in this space. So I'm adding these here to divide the space up and give it a little bit of structure and shape. And we're gonna do the exact same thing here, add in a cross path. We'll go as far as we can and accept that this must end here. Now over here, I'm gonna turn grid on. We're gonna just have a nice straight path all the way through, give ourselves a little bit of space through here and line this right up. So I thought that the front of the building it's interesting. I can't really figure out what the front of this building is. Maybe right here? I, I want to say it's right there. This is definitely the back. So we'll run a path along the back and we'll run, run, run one right up the front here as well. So there we go. So this is really the, the pedestrian foundation of our park space. And we're going to fill in this sand that I can't get rid of using a mixture of landscaping and decals. And I think the result will be that this looks a bit more plausible and reasonable because right now it looks pretty bad in my opinion. So I, I can't really take credit for this one. This is something that uh, Mulligan, the administrator of the Discord server, created in his city. So he went through and used this lovely zoo ground decal and there's a couple of reasons why this is so great. So first of all, the the regular paths are kind of like putty. And it seems like whoever laid these, these cement paths uh, didn't know that you're supposed to put an edge on them. <laughs> so they look pretty terrible. That said, you can fix it by placing a decal on it. But it's really hard to get these straight. You can see that I'm, I'm already ha having a couple of issues through here. And I could get absolutely wild trying to get this perfectly straight. In fact, I probably should start over here on the sidewalk and I'll never get another decal to line up with that. <laughs> As I say that, there we go. <laughs> so 
So I'm gonna go through here and fill this in and I'll show you what we're gonna do to make this look a little bit better at the end. So that is very imperfect, but when you're far enough away, it looks all right. <laughs> so we're gonna live with a little bit of imperfection here because the only way that I could get this to be completely perfect would be to, to really spend a lot of time finicking around with it. So you, what you can tell is it's, it's okay. And I wonder, I get rid of this and I get rid of, oh, that didn't do it. <laughs> I'm trying to see how close I can get to everything. At network is probably what is creating my biggest issue. That's about as close as I can get, which is fine. Uh, you can see that there's a bit of imperfection. We're gonna fix some of this by adding in some hedges along the side, and those will overlap this really nicely. And then we can create some entryways into here. And this will serve two purposes. So when you have a plaza area, and I think I've mentioned this before, park design theory, people generally do not want to be in an open plaza, not in the center anyway. So you can create a big grand plaza and put all the seating you want in that plaza and it will remain empty. And the reason for that is people don't like the discomfort of being in the center of a big plaza like this. So this will be a way to break it up a bit. I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm seeing another opportunity. And I think the opportunity is for a fountain. It didn't quite go big enough here. So we'll need to do a bit of reconstruction and reconfiguration. Okay, so we've got a couple of decal things to fix here, but I really, really like the way that this turned out. So we'll just make a couple of improvements here. And now I'm gonna go around through the rest of here and just make sure I have all my decals lining up and I will do a bit of, of, of decoration around the outside as well. Okay, so I've got all of my decals plopped and you'll see that there are just areas where it's not perfect, that's okay. We're gonna fix them as best as we can with lining the decal, uh, lining this up with our bushes. And that's gonna be the best solution that we have, unfortunately. But I think this is pretty darn good. Like uh, in terms of vanilla being able to make the landscape look custom, this is kind of as good as it gets. Okay, so to me, this looks pretty outstanding. That's what you see. We could jazz it up even further by adding some palm trees, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we'll need to use our imagination just a bit here uh, in terms of uh, you know having some sort of planter area around it, but I think that looks pretty awesome. And then let's go into our parks. We'll go into our props, and we can add some of these in. Now, there are some really interesting props in here. There are these trade school tables I love the way these look. They look very modern. And we're gonna add some places to sit. Now, you gotta be really careful when you're placing all these props because the center is not a, uh, the center of these decals, you can't place one of these props. So you don't wanna use any more than you have to because it'll make it difficult to place things. Okay, so we've got a lot of other cool things that we could place in here as well. So we could have a kiosk. So I am gonna put a kiosk over here. Actually, no, we don't wanna obstruct this view at all. So we're gonna try to hide this somewhere else. So there aren't really a lot of great places to hide this, but this right here wouldn't be such a focal point. So this might be, maybe we'll place a little uh, outdoor restaurant area over here. So I like that idea a lot more. And then we'll leave this, you know, kind of kind of empty, <laughs> which is fine in my book. If we have any sort of kiosk, probably should be something like this. Get a newspaper, set up a clock in there so you could tell when the next exhibit's gonna take place. And then we'll pop back into our city park assets and see if there's anything appropriate in here. Over here, we'll have a couple of chess tables. We're certainly gonna need trash all over the place. 
but we'll want to keep those near the outside so it's kind of easy. The public works people are always the very first to chime in and say, you're not thinking about us. <laughs> so let's think about them. And then we'll add in a couple of these way markers and that's gonna actually be really challenging. So maybe we will uh, hold off on that. We'll add a fountain around this one. There's one more thing I wanna add in here, right here, the pavilion. We'll add this around a different one. That This is kind of an overpowering uh, asset. So now I wanna to switch to night. And what you'll see right off the bat is that there are places where this is not safe. So I think what we're gonna do is we'll pop into our city park and look at some of these lights here. I like the, this triple light. They feel classy. We'll just add a couple around the seats. Give people the light they need to feel safe walking through the park. We'll add a couple around the front here and the back end. There we go. And now it's well lit. Now, no matter where you're at, maybe with the exception of around this fountain, it would be great if there was something in there. I don't necessarily want to put a light right next to it. So there will be a slightly darker part of the park. And that's in the very center right there. Kind of unfortunate. I don't think that would really be the case to be lights in the fountain. Okay, now that we've get, got this done, I want to take a break from detailing because I'm going to go crazy. And I want to think a little bit about transit in this area. And we need to have dedicated transit here. So we have an opportunity because if we take a look back over here, we have one of our bays that we haven't been using. So I want to have a direct link right into this area, right in front of the, uh, the Hamilton experience. And I want to use this as an opportunity to activate this side of the waterfront. It's giving me some height issues. So I pop in here and it says slope too steep. Oh, well, I disagree. <laughs> We're going to make this work. It is, you can see that it's, it's, there is terraforming happening back here. So we'll click on this, just pull this out a little ways. And then now it'll be okay with us. So there we go. We just pull that right back in. Looks good no harm there so now we are going to need to get our subway here and as much as i'd love to just go straight across i know reasonably we're going to need to come along the beach and then we'll kind of slingshot this back around the curved road tool is the right tool to use here i just don't know Oh, that's actually a very nice connection. I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to actually find a road guideline. I couldn't, but that's okay. It still worked out just fine. So we've moved Airport Hamilton. We'll name this Airport Expo. And now we've got a new line, Metro Line 18. This is the Hamilton experience, and we will make that a lovely yellow. And I bet you that this line is going to have quite a bit of ridership. I'm really looking forward to seeing this thing going. So. I want to add some pads now and let's just mirror what we've done here. We'll use our eyes and not any guides. We'll just mirror this. Really like that. So I think we're going to, we're going to be pretty laid back over here. We've got grass, so I don't need to, you know, get crazy with paving every last square inch of everything. <laughs> so we're, let's just add in a little row here. Now, essentially what we've done here is use the landscaping to define a space. And I really like that. I think it makes it feel enclosed a bit. And when you're outside, that can make it feel homey. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to add a tree here if I can find the right angle. It'll be one of the few non-palm trees that we have in this area. We'll add one on either side, a place we could get a bit of shade and, you know, a little bit of a reprieve from what I assume would be a pretty hot environment. It's really just concrete and, you know, sun directly on you. So that'll be a help. So along here, I'm going to painstakingly place palm trees and we're going to go all the way to the Hamilton experience. So this will be tough because it believes that I'm trying to upgrade the key wall with a palm tree, <laughs> which I'm not trying to do. Okay, so I love the effect that that makes really lining this whole area with palm trees makes it feel a little bit more tropical. I wish I could put these in the road. I can't. And that's okay because I really care about the way this road looks. 
as much as having trees along it. We can go along the sides and have a completely fine aesthetic here as well. Uh, there's a part of me that would love to go along here with flowers too. It's really not going to like that the further I get. Oh, yeah. You can see that when the road and the key wall are too close, you've really got to pick the right camera angle to even allow to, to gain the ability to place these. And that's just not a level of tedium I'm excited to get into. <laughs> so we're going to avoid it. I can see that for the most part, I have been able to figure it out. Wow. Oh, oh I've been tempted and now I must go. All right, maybe I shouldn't have, <laughs> but, but I like it. So we're going to go with it. I'll leave this for now. We've got some work here to do with the Hamilton experience, and I want to take care of it. The very first thing I want to do is really give some thought to what we did here. We m I made a bit of a mistake. So the mistake was I didn't give a back entrance in here, and I think that we need to. So what we're going to do is run a road back here, and to get that r space for that road, we're going to bump over... London Eye, which we will rename in just a moment. And we're going to run a road right back here. So we took out our fence. We took out some landscaping. We made lots of problems. We also opened up an opportunity. So what we're going to do is take a survey of what we have here. We've got the swinging boat, which has been just kind of a thing. Souvenir shop and some restrooms. And we're going to rebuild this whole area back here. The other thing, before we get going... There was a comment that, that mentioned the, the lack of human scale trees through here. And I think that that was a really good comment. These trees are very big and they kind of overwhelm the space. And we should be a little bit more thoughtful about that. You can't even see what's happening back here. So I'm going to take all these down a notch. And if we want trees through here, we will place them ourselves. So for the time being, we're going to go without. So let's place a side gate in here. And now we've got this right here. We've got to figure out how we're going to make all of this stuff fit together. So I'm going to start out with just angle and grid lines. I'll connect these up. I know that I'm going to want something happening back here. And then I'll just turn that around right there. So this should give us the framework that we need to get things going. So I don't want to get this too far because I don't want those to connect. So right here... You walk in, the very first and the very last thing I want you to see is that souvenir shop. Your kid's going to be begging you to get a balloon or a teddy bear. That is exactly how they would think. Now the bathroom, we're going to shove that back in the corner over here. Because I feel like that's, again, what happens. <laughs> and then we will put our swinging boat ride right next to that. So as you swing back and forth, you get the wafting of the smells. <laughs> so that's a thing there that fits perfectly so a couple of improvements to make here we've obviously got some tiles that we need to place through here add in a couple of things for the kids to do right by the door get distracted by all of this fun stuff <laughs> and then we need some fencing around here so let's get that in place and we could try to use this space, but I think that we'll be just fine with some of our landscaping. So we'll try to mimic what we did before. So we had some flowers and that's kind of it now. <laughs> so that will do, that will do. There we go. We've got that all figured out. And I like this, this to me, this feels really, really complete now and you know, obviously it's missing landscaping. We're gonna need to add a bit of that in. But I think we should go with just a couple of date palms through here and we'll keep it along the outside. Okay, yeah, that's a great improvement. You can just see things now. When you walk in, come around the palm, you look and you could see all the rides. Now, there aren't many places to catch shade, which is unfortunate, but not necessarily unexpected. Maybe just for the kiddos, we'll put one tree in. That tree would be fought over. <laughs> so, we'll have one in there. We got one over here and one right there. 
Actually, no, I don't like that at all. We'll, uh, we'll get rid of that. You want shade? You gotta go for a walk. <laughs> that happens too. Okay, so now I do want to do a little bit of renaming based on your feedback and then we're going to work on our last little bit that we're going to focus on today. We're not going to finish all of our detailing up here, but that's okay. The exposition's going on and things are going just fine. So I might butcher this name and I apologize if I do. Marisa suggested La Vista Verde for this. I really love that. That means the green view, and I really, really think that's great. So let's go for the, we'll rename the London Eye, La Vista Verde. And the reason why is you're up here, what do you get a view of? Verde Beach. That is awesome. Love that. So we've renamed that. And then over here, Cozy Hill, <laughs> the park is leveled up. We are going to rename this the Hamilton Exposition. So we've got the Hamilton Experience here, a one-star park, apparently. <laughs> so that's okay. We're, let's lower the price here. This is definitely the main park. Advertising campaigns, celebrate night tours, even more fun. Half of this stuff doesn't apply. I don't care. It sounds good. So we're going for it. Recycle the garbage as well. And I know that we look at this nature reserve. I don't care. It's fine. We can go with it makes me feel good so <laughs> there we go we've renamed those things I want to get some more transportation back here though we did some things back here to try to make use of this space to try to figure out a way to make an empty space useful but there was something better that could have been done there and batch be tripping actually brought this up in discord and I love her for it what we are gonna do is take the harbor over here which is a pretty bad spot for a harbor truth be told here we are by the airport and let's imagine you're on a cruise ship and they are giving you two hours to get off in verde beach and instead of going to the hamilton experience and checking out the tourism district you get to come here near our dilapidated little airport island <laughs> district i don't know what has happened over here but there's some things happening so we are going to move this, but before we move this, I know there's been some concern about my VBI over here, and I figured out where something is. We're going to get rid of this. So I think I mentioned that this beautiful Mulligan International Airport sign was designed for the build, and then I could never find it. <laughs> Apparently it's underneath the rock features. Uh, and now that I found it, I need to use it. So we're going to add that right here, right in the center. It's not MIA anymore, but we can use our imaginations. <laughs> so there it is. I was going to add some landscaping around it, but it's just so pretty. We'll just leave it by itself. I really like that. That's really nice. So we'll leave that there. Oh, fire. Great. <laughs> Let's grab this and get it moved. Just gonna pull this over, not that far, <laughs> right here. And this road that we just put here, I'm gonna get rid of this temporarily so we can slide this over. It ruined our fence, that was not our game plan. So we can slide this over as far as it will let us go without breaking a bunch of stuff. And now what we're gonna do, angle road guidelines and try to line this up and it's gonna fight with me. It's gonna be a, a, a rascal. That's that's okay, what are you gonna do? Okay, and it forced me to move or remove and replace that park entrance. Everything kind of spirals <laughs> sometimes and we were definitely in a spiral. Now it believes that we're building on water. All the things, all the things. We're gonna figure this out. It all comes down to just building up and then removing and taking it back down. Not a big deal, just a thing. Just a thing to be aware of. So we have resolved that. So now we will clean this up once again. There we go. Uh, everything I just did was totally unnecessary. I just did it because I'm crazy, so. <laughs> Don't worry about me. All right, so let's get a couple of trees around here. You can see that it preserved some of our landscaping. Ooh, that is ugly. We'll need to fix that. We just made that problem. 
There we go. So that gives a little bit more to this area. Obviously need some water pipes. We've got those going right through a building. <laughs> no. So that isn't ideal. But I think we've got to fix it. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Can't do it. We've got to fix it. There we go. Oh, I did it here too. I did it here. I must have been having an off day. I must have been having a real off day. Interesting. So we've had water problems here, apparently. I don't know why. There we go. So now we've got water. There are trash problems back here because that's what we're dealing with today. <laughs> and uh, I'd love to get a ferry back here too. Uh, that said, I'm not 100% sure of the most suitable location for that right now. So let's go ahead, we'll take a look, and we'll just you know, dry fit it. We'll just see what works. Truthfully, down here is probably the best. I just will really struggle to make that work. Otherwise, right here would be good as well. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We'll just get rid of a little bit of road there, and we'll snap that right on. And then I'm gonna downgrade this little segment of road that is wonderful. I love that. And then one more palm tree, just for good measure down here, and some bushes. Okay, so we've got things a little bit cleaned up here, and now we can clean up all of this fairy madness that we have going on. So I'm gonna delete all of this that we put here, and let's redraw those in a nicer way. And really to do that, using the free form tool is about as good as it gets. So from here, we can also have just a fairy that pings back and forth. There we go. So now we've got a lot of transportation in this area, which I think is really, really great. When you're coming off from here, now there's actually a purpose. In fact, I really wish that we had a subway station back here as well. We don't, and there's really not a way to get one. So I think that if I were to pop through here, yeah, there's just, there's no space. It's too full. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's too close. People could walk there. That's too close. Yeah. Uh, we could certainly take out this little corner here and add another stop. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay, so the thought behind this one is that we are serving not just the Hamilton experience, not just the harbor, we're serving both of them. So this is going to have some pretty decent utilization. It is too close. I will readily admit that. I do not like how close these stops are together, but I do think this is kind of a special situation. We can get away with it here. So I am curious. I want to let this run for a minute and just see how much utilization we get here. Okay, so this should be prime time. We've got these ships rolling in. We'll be able to hop on the subway here. We've got a couple people waiting. Speed it up, clip right through each other. Perfect. All these people spill out come down they pull out their pocket cars let's see how many go in here where are they going they're all going for a walk now there's a lot of people coming in here a lot of people coming in here so that's great that is really great a lot of people getting off here eight people a week that's right <laughs> that's not right no people are using this apparently and eight here i'm gonna let this go for just a minute okay and it's pretty clear to see that this is very useful 543 passenger trips per week here. Right here, 127. Right here, look at all of those people streaming out of here from downtown. 65. This is gonna make the Hamilton experience level up so quickly. Check this out. Attractiveness, we're okay. Got plenty of entertainment. Ticket prices are low. Lots of income, still. We're operating at a loss, that's okay. And we've got visitors just streaming in here. This will be level three in no time. Level five, that might be a, a bigger thing. <laughs> It'll take a bit longer, but I think we're moving in a good direction. 
And I love to see all the passengers here. I'm curious which one's getting better utilization, about the same. So there is a value in having both of them. So I do think we've got to take a look at this park, admire our handiwork and have a brief city tour. And that was a great city tour and you see that things are really starting to come together down here we've got beautiful plazas we've got transportation the hamilton experience is feeling much more like the hamilton experience and look at all of these boats just streaming in here i love the activity that you feel on this island right now and i'm just guessing if we take a look at our traffic there's traffic here but it's good traffic this to me is activity people want to be here there's a reason to be here and it's our tourism hub. So I love this. But we started this episode with a death wave and we have ended looking pretty good. Our population's back. Let's see what our deaths look like. We still got a lot of deaths, but this must be the manageable level. So I'm not gonna be too upset by this if our population's rebounded. So I do think that we can come back over here. We'll turn our space elevator back on and watch our population continue to explode. The real thing that you got to look at is in your city st city statistics, we just want to make sure that our death rate is lower than our influx and our birth rate. And right now we're in a good spot. Before we weren't. Okay, so one of the interesting things you can do is you can come into your info views and then click on population and you can see this right here. So this was our problem before. Our births were lower than our deaths. So right now you can see that our births are double, than our, double that of our deaths. We've got influx that is also contributing to our population growth. So we are gaining population. So we're in a good place now, which is much different than we were at before. And when you take a look, look at that residential happiness. That's excellent. We've got to figure out our commercial happiness. And to me, that is the problems that we're having with our train network. We're going to need to focus on that soon. But... I think we're leaving this in a good spot. And I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit the like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And I really mean this. Thank you so much. I've lost my voice the last week and it made it very difficult to make videos. And uh, that experience made me realize just how much I enjoy doing this. So thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.